Let's look at the distance between two points in the Cartesian plane. And here is the formula that the distance d between p1 and p2 is the following square root. Notice what we are doing here. We are taking the x-coordinate of p2, subtracting the x-coordinate of p1, squaring that difference, and then taking the y-coordinate of p2, subtracting the y-coordinate of p1, and squaring that difference, adding those results together and taking the square root. Now let's think about why this is true. Let's say this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. And let's say this is the point x1, and this is the point y1, which means p1 is right here. And let's say this is x2, and this is y2, which means p2 would be right here. Now d is the distance between these two points, which is the length of this line segment, isn't it? So why would the length of this line segment be equal to this square root? Well, let's plot a third point over here at x2, y1. And connecting these three points, we get a right triangle. Now what is the length of this horizontal line segment joining p1 and the point x2, y1? Isn't that just the absolute value of the difference in the x-coordinates of these points, namely x2 minus x1? And isn't the distance of this vertical line segment just the absolute value of the difference in the y-coordinates of these points, namely y2 minus y1? And therefore, by the Pythagorean theorem, we have that the hypotenuse squared, or d squared, is equal to the absolute value of x2 minus x1 squared, and then plus the absolute value of y2 minus y1 squared. Therefore, d is equal to plus or minus the square root of the right-hand side, but since d is a length, we're going to take the positive square root. And when we square absolute values, we can drop the absolute values. And we get our formula. Let's see an example. Let's find the distance between these two points here. Let's let this equal x1 and this y1 and this x2 and this y2. By our formula, the distance d is the square root of the difference in the x coordinates squared, so x2 minus x1 squared plus the difference in the y coordinate squared, so negative 5 minus a minus 1, be careful here, squared, which is equal to the square root of negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared, which is equal to the square root of 9 plus 16 which is the square root of 25, or 5. And this is how we find the distance between two points in the Cartesian plane. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.